Hello, this is Cynthia from the Teaching Learning Center, and this video is for students to show them how to access the Collaborate Ultra Room from their course in Blackboard. Um, so the instructor has a couple of options. They could give you access to the room by either creating a link that goes directly to the Collaborate Ultra tool or from the general tools area, if they have this available to students, you would see um, a Blackboard Collaborate Ultra link. Either way is going to bring you to the same place. Okay, so if, you, if they want you to access through the tool links, you click this. If they've created a link specifically to that one tool, you'll click that. And this is where either link will bring you. All right, so by default, we land in the sessions area. Um, but um, so I want to show you a couple of things. One is don't be confused by this alert saying it looks like you don't have any upcoming sessions. Your instructor could make a specific session. Perhaps you're having a guest linker and they wanted to title it that and so on. They, they could create a special link, but otherwise all you need is this text join room link. Okay, but before we actually join the room, I want to show you a few other things on this page. Um, We've landed in the default sessions area, but if your instructor has recorded a session for some reason, um, the way to access those recordings is to click this menu link on the left, these three lines, and choose recordings from your list. All right, if there are some recordings available and they're less than one week old, you'll actually see them right away. If you click this view recording, that will open the recording in a different tab in that same browser. And you always want to make sure you're using Chrome for your browser, um, for Blackboard in general, and specifically when you're using Collaborate. So, um, so you can click the link, or if the instructor has allowed, they have a setting they could choose to allow you to download the video. If that's the case, you will see this icon on the far right, in which case you'll just click it, and that will download the video, and you can watch it offline at your own um, leisure. Um, if they don't choose that settings, you won't even see this link. All right. Now the tricky part is if the video was, if the session was recorded more than a week ago, they won't display by default. So you have to click this show recent recordings arrow and choose show recordings in a range. And perhaps it was, it's, this is your current date. So if it was more than a week old, or if you're not sure, but you know, it's at least more than a week old, maybe try a couple of weeks ago. Or if you know the specific date, enter that date there and then those recordings will show. I don't think I have anything more than that. those two. Yeah, I just have those two. So it's not showing anymore. But if your recordings aren't listed by default, when you click the recordings area, choose this option and search back a couple of weeks or how, if you know the specific date, and then they'll appear. All right, so let's go back to the sessions area. Again, I click this menu icon and choose sessions. And then I'm just going to click this Join Room link. All right, the um, Collaborate recognizes me. You'll see your name will be displayed there because of uh, I've logged into Blackboard under that name. OK. And so the instructor has um, is already in the session, and they have provided this document to help me orient myself to the room. Okay, it tells me how to access my microphone, um, how to use the chat in case I'm having trouble, how to troubleshoot my audio or my webcam if I'm using that, and then how to, if I decide to use my telephone for audio, how to access that. So quickly, um, to use your microphone, you're just going to toggle this icon here. Just click it once to turn it on. You may be asked if um, you want to share this option, and you would just click share the device. All right. And so then and the, the microphone, microphone, oops, I'm going to turn it off, obviously, because it's recording me recording. That's not going to work, but that's how you use that. Same thing with the video, you just toggle that to start the, the webcam and follow the prompts from there. All right, so if you're having trouble with, with any of those, you can click in this um, pink panel here. It's just by default, you click the panel. And this last icon here shows your settings. Okay, so from here, if you're having trouble, you click set up camera and microphone and it will walk you through a wizard to check to make sure your microphone and webcam are working or not. And you can continue to chat. 
to your instructor to let them know whether or not you're able to access sound. At the very least, you can use the chat to respond to your instructor. Um, not the best scenario, but you at least have that option. Okay, so let's close that panel again. Okay, so as I said, the instructor chose to share something to help you orient right when you get to the room. Um, if that's not the case, when you come in the room, you would see um, either their video, if they're sharing the webcam, or their avatar, which is what they have shown here or what you're showing here. If you um, rewind this video two seconds, you'll see that the avatar for Cynthia Delcor was just the kind of generic avatar like yours right here, like the student's profile, but now it's changed to, to an image. I went back in as the administrator and changed it so you can see how that works, okay? So if you're not using your webcam, the image that appears next to your name is either this generic um, icon or um, in some cases, you can change the, you're allowed to change the avatar, and then the image will display there. Okay, that's how that's used. All right, so, and that occurs from the settings um, panel within this Collaborate panel. Okay, so we've looked at the chat, if you're having technical issues, or if you just choose to communicate through the chat. This is the participant panel, the next one down, it shows everyone who's logged into the, to the room. Um, you might see different things next to your name. For example, if I raise my hand, if I as a student raise my hand, you'll notice that you were, did you hear that little um, audio alert? Um, and then you'll see an icon next to your name that your hand is raised. And that helps the instructor also in case they will see a pull out alert saying so and so has raised their hand. But if they should miss that and they have the participant panel open, they'll be able to see that right away. Cindy has a question. All right, um, in that case, to get rid of, to lower your hand, you would just toggle again, click that same icon, and that lowers the hand. Another thing that you'll see next to your name is back in the settings panel, if, for example, you had to leave the room for a moment, you can, or leave your computer for a moment, rather than having to log out and then log back in when you're ready to join, you can click from the settings panel next to your name, click where it says present, and you can choose set as away. Again, when you do that, the instructor is notified that you're away from your computer temporarily with a little pull-out alert. But also, if they went to the participant panel, which I can't do since I'm alert, I'm away as a student, next to the participant panel, they'll see a little yellow icon like that next to your name. So they can always be reminded that you're away until you come back, you click I'm back, and then that um, icon will disappear from your name. All right, in this last option, share content from a participant's point of view, a student's point of view, you would just see whether or not someone, the instructor or the moderator is sharing anything. Okay, you don't have any tools to share as a participant with participant privileges. All right, so chat, participant, share, and settings. Okay, this is your uh, kind of profile. Um, toggle to share your microphone, toggle to share your webcam, and click this to raise your hand. If anything, if the whiteboard or a document is being shared, these tools up here will appear. Um, this allows you to select something. I don't believe if they're just sharing a file, yeah, you can't do anything. So let me show you one more thing. If they're sharing a whiteboard, how that works. All right, one moment. Okay, so the moderator um, stopped sharing that document and is now sharing a whiteboard. I'm just going to close this panel to give me a little more real estate. You just click that pink tab again to close it. All right, so now these tools. Um, so say, for example, you were just going to create a shape or write just using your mouse. You click this pencil and then use your mouse to create some kind of a shape. You can click this swatch to get a different color you know, and start to, to use your mouse that way. Um, that's when you can use this arrow. When you create something like that, it, it, it basically creates an object or an image on this whiteboard, and you can use that arrow to move that to a different location. Okay, that's how that that's used. This hand is a pointer. If you click that, your mouse will change to that little hand, and it's not very big, but you can kind of use it to you know, point to a specific location you want the instructor to recognize. The pencil, again, is um, what we just used. This shape allows you to create 
any of these shapes. You just click on one. Again, you could choose a different color. And then you'll just click and drag to create the shape. Right? Um, and again, you could move that object if you wanted to. Okay. Um, and last, you have the text tool, which again, you can change colors. Then you would just click on the whiteboard and use your keyboard to start typing. Notice it's right justifies so that your type is moving to the left. If you run out of room, you if you hit enter, that's just going to stop that, that particular text box. And if I wanted to keep typing, I would just have to click again because that text tool is still selected. Click again and continue. Oops, I could type. Okay, notice um, I'm running out of room. But what can we do here? We can hit enter, use that select tool and move that piece of text over. Okay. Otherwise, knowing that that occurs when you click the select the text tool, just start over here and start typing. All right, so the instructor has the tool that allows you to um, clear the room. And unfortunately, they can't just erase one particular piece. When they click the clear button, it clears everything on the, on the page. All right, so that's the whiteboard, and that's how these tools are used. All right, so that about covers the basics of entering the room and using some basic tools. Um, just one more thing, when you leave the room, you don't want to just um, close the tab or close your browser. You want to, again, click this session menu icon. And at the bottom of that panel is a leave session option. Just click that link. You'll be asked to, to rate your experience, but you can just skip that as well. When you hear that sound that tells you that you are completely out of the room, okay, then you can close your tab or close your browser. All right, and then you will still see the, the tab that had your Blackboard course in it. All right, so that's a quick overview. If you have any more questions about that, don't hesitate to ask your instructor. All right, thank you. Bye.